Welcome to this video. In this video, we will go over the 2019 May SAT exam, section 4, question 22. Now, if you look at this question right here, uh, just taking a glance at the question, the function itself, uh, without reading the text, you can already discover that there is a quadratic equation. Now, the problem itself doesn't really ask you to graph specifically, but it is very important that you know how to graph this function. And I will explain to you why it is so important as we uh, move along. So the first thing that you should see from this function is that uh, for both terms, you have some common factor right here. Uh, they are both divisible by 500 and also divisible by x. That means you can factor out the negative 500 and x right here, okay, as the common factor. And so you have another factor, which is x minus 50, okay? So in this case, you can actually create a little graph right here that sets this. Okay, now I hope that you are very comfortable in constructing this graph. Uh, at the very least, that you know the quadratic function, uh, the parabola right here, should be opening down because of the uh, negative coefficient at the uh, x squared term. And uh, the numbers right here will be 0 as the first root, and then you have 50 as the other root. So the way we can tell that it is uh, 0 and 50 for the two roots is that you have an x right here, and then you have an x minus 50 right here, because we can set x minus 50 equal to 0. We wonder when the y value is equal to 0. So x minus 50 is equal to 0, x is equal to 50. So we have this graph. Now, what is even more important is that we have f of x right here and x right here. Don't forget to label the axes because they actually tell us a lot of story, a lot of uh, very important information in this story right here. So now let's go ahead and read the question. It says that the revenue f of x. Now, may as well just go ahead and write the word right here, revenue, okay? Uh, in dollars that a company receives from sales of a product, it's given by the function f above, where x is the unit price. Okay, so x is the unit price uh, in dollars of the product. The graph of y equals to f of x in the xy plane intersects the x-axis at 0 and a, what does a represent? Now, it is not really asking you for the value of the a, but you can easily imagine how they could change up the question, maybe the exam that you are taking uh, in the future months will have this kind of question, and they may ask you for the root. So, may as well just get yourself prepared for that. So, what does a represent? Now, A, apparently, it's this number, 50, right here. And it's 50, meaning that's the unit price. If it is at 50, the revenue, which is the Y value, the revenue would be zero. So that's what it means. So the revenue would be zero at two unit prices, at zero dollars and at, all, at $50, meaning that uh, it is either, it's either too cheap that you are giving it for free, giving out for free, so you're not receiving any revenue, or it is being too expensive, so, but, so nobody would actually buy it, and that's why you don't have any revenue, all right? So, so which of the following choices on the right uh, would fit perfectly, okay? So uh, let's go to the, let's go through the choices one by one. Uh, for choice A, it sets the revenue in dollars when the unit price of the product is zero. Now that it's not true because the unit price would be 50. So that's why we know A, it's not correct. The unit price in dollars, okay, of the products that will result in maximum revenue. Well, maximum revenue is right here. This is maximum revenue. And that it's not 50, that's uh, 25, which is in the middle between uh, 0 and 50. So that would not be true. And this is why graphing the uh, quadratic function is so important because now you are in a prime position to make interpretation and there is no way that you would get it wrong. Uh, let's look at C, the unit price in dollars uh, of the products that will result in a revenue of zero. 
sounds pretty good. So let's keep that for the moment and let's look at D. D sets the maximum revenue in dollars that the company can make. And again, we said that the maximum revenue it's going to be at $25 not at $50, so D it's also wrong. So you finish your job, you pick the right answer, and also you prove how the other three choices are wrong. And this is how we would get this question right. So just to recap, uh, it is very important that you become very sensitive to these quadratic functions. Now, the quadratic functions that are appeared that will appear on the SAT exam usually they are not very challenging or difficult. It's uh, it's very easily factored uh, into a nice. Uh, kind of factored form of the quadratic formula and you can have a very easy time to uh, to find out the uh, the shape of the graph and uh, they may go more difficult if they ask you for at what price the maximum uh, that the maximum revenue could appear or at what uh, uh, at the $25 uh, how much would be the maximum revenue so you can imagine the variations of this kind of question. So, so the bottom line is that make sure you know how to graph quadratic functions so that you will have a very easy time to answer this question correctly. Do you want some extra credit? If you do, subscribe our channel. I promise you, you will learn a lot more and get extra credit from that. If you have any question, please make sure that you email us at goodacademics at gmail.com. If you have any question in math, science, or education, just send them in and we will do our very best to resolve your problems. And I thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I hope that you will continue to learn a lot more through our channel. See you soon.